once I get to the race, you know, once you're right behind the blocks, there's nothing more you can do to improve it. You might as well just go have fun. Say what's up to the crowd. Let them know, let them know what's good. And just have fun. That's what I did. It worked out. I mean, there are no keys, you know. It doesn't matter who's in that water next to me. It could be the Kool-Aid man breaking through, man. It, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, whoever's in the water next to me, I'm going to race in the same way. I'm going to have the same mindset beforehand. Uh, as to specific keys, I really take advantage of my long finish. Now that they changed the rules, I don't have to worry about the DQ on it, so I'm still just gonna keep taking advantage of it. The older I get, and the, the more experience I get, the more I realize the feeling doesn't matter at all. Uh, it's like I said earlier, once you're behind the blocks, you know, there's, there's nothing more, nothing less you can do. You, I prepare the same way every time now. I know what I need to do beforehand. And once you get into that moment, it's all about being in the moment and staying in it and not freaking yourself out and not getting overworked up. So it's about having fun. Just remind myself that uh, I got more things going on than just swimming in my life. I could come here, I could, I could eat shit in all my races and I'll go home and uh, I'll hold, my, hold myself the same way because uh, I knew I did all the work I could at home. I did all the work I could preparing for the meet and once you're behind the blocks, there's no telling what's going to happen. Every single race is different. You can't go into it with too much of an expectation, you know, high hopes, low expectation, I think is a pretty good way to approach it, so that's yeah. what I do.